He's trying to help America flatten the curve, but apparently he knows nothing about throwing a curveball. Infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci missing the mark badly while tossing the ceremonial opening pitch as the Major League Baseball season got underway in Washington last night. Melissa, and then there's that, but they were saying that he doesn't want anything catching. Get it? <laughs> I, see, I see what you did there. Very, <laughs> very clever. And welcome, Richard. Nice to see you again. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, too. And speaking of baseball, with games being played in empty stadiums, many companies won't be able to cash in on baseball this year. Yeah, you mightn't have thought of it, but when you hear it, you're going to say, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Melissa, the peanut industry is in deep trouble here because we eat a lot of peanuts when we go to the ball game. There are currently 2.3 million pounds of those in shell peanuts sitting in cold storage. The New York the New York Times reports that many MLB teams have canceled their peanut orders. The poor farmers though, they harvested these last October and in many cases they've already shipped them to the roasters. So the, the farmers are really on the hook here. Not a good situation. Uh, the peanuts that we eat at places like the Rogers Center are expensive to grow and delicate to harvest. They don't usually turn them into peanuts. They use other peanuts for that. But, Melissa, we have seen demand for peanut butter skyrocket during the pandemic. So the farmers are hoping to break even by maybe turning some of those nuts into peanut butter. So that's kind of not a very good, uh, not a good opening day for the poor peanut farmers. Got to mention the odds. What are the bookies thinking about the Jays, Melissa? Odds to win. Uh, odds, odds to get in the postseason, just in a seven to one. So you bet one dollar, you can win seven bucks. Odds to win the AL East for the Jays, fifty to one. That's not very good. You bet a dollar, you could win fifty. Odds to win the World Series, a hundred to one. So the gamblers aren't very confident about the season. Are you excited for baseball, plus? I am excited, you know. It brings back, again, some normalcy in our lives to be able to see some sports on television again while we can't actually go to the games. It's, I think it's still, it's, it's still good. It, it'll still feel somewhat normal in a sense. Everything will be right with the world this evening when we're watching baseball, yeah. Yes, indeed. Now, thousands of non-essential stores have been forced to close during this pandemic, but that doesn't mean Canadians have stopped shopping, Richard. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure many of us have done a lot more online shopping the past few months, but the numbers are quite staggering. Stats Canada says retail sales online have doubled over where they were last year, up 107 percent since February. And Canadians now do 10 percent of their total shopping online. Sounds like a small amount, but Melissa, that's way up from where it used to be. Yeah, I bet. I know I definitely been uh, using my credit card a lot more online. Thanks. It's all <laughs> fun and games on? until the visa bill arrives. <laughs> That's another Tell story. me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it for sure. Now, the coronavirus hasn't only changed how we shop. It could also be changing where we choose to live. Is the condo craze here in Toronto over? Stats Canada signaled this week it may be. There were two reports out. One found that, yeah, we're going to work from home a lot more. And the other talked about the, the Airbnb market going bust. A lot of these, these units that were going for Airbnb are now up to rent. It's actually a, maybe a good time to find a better rental price. But Stats Can says working from home, as it becomes more prevalent, we may see an increase in demand for larger living spaces. Therefore, demand for condos could tank. And, you know, if you, if you don't have to go into the office a lot of people will be perhaps looking for homes further afield outside of the city but listen you and i are back just after 6 30 very interesting stuff to talk about the new york times published this morning a new article on ufos no conspiracy here but a lot of interesting facts and we're going to talk about them after 6 30. very very cool well, thanks so much richard we'll see you then